Right, afternoon and uh, welcome to this new video. Um, we've got the Escort Cosworth in the booth, um, all masked up, all prepped up. It's ready to start putting the colour on. We've been cleaning this car for about two hours now, so it's had a solvent panel wipe, a waterborne panel wipe, lots of blowing and tacking and anti-statting. We want to try and get this thing as absolutely clean as we can. Um, we're going to be salt painting this with our uh, Wave 2.0 Walkborn base coat and Noval for classic car CSR clear coat. So there's probably a good three or four hours at least to get this painted properly with all the flash off time. So I think it's going to be a late night if I'm honest. Um, right, we're going to quickly pop in the booth and show you where we're at. Um, So, there you can see, everything's all masked up, all ready to go, extensive cleaning, all blown off in front of the extractor fan, um, yeah. A couple of little spots where we rub through and we had to just put a little bit of primer on, but basically, you know, all looking lovely. Um, all masked out with an apron under the car, stop any over spray going under there. So yeah, we're really happy with it at the moment. So we've, uh, we've mixed up about four or five PPS pots full of paint. So we're gonna bring them in there. We're gonna do two full wet coats, then two drop coats. Um, dry down in between every coat. The boot's running at about 23 degrees. Um, we'll probably drop that slightly for our drop coats to about 20. Um, so then once we've done our two drop coats, we'll probably leave that for a good half hour, 40 minutes, and then we're gonna come in and get three coats of our Noble for Classic Car CSR clear coat on. Um, we're gonna be painting this with the Iowater uh, W400. That's really our preferred Warborn base coat gun for this. But when it comes to doing the drop coats, I'll explain to you exactly how we set the gun up to do that. So, if you're ready, I'm ready. Let's go.
So we've got all our base coat on. I'm ready to do the two drop coats. Now with the drop coats for our um, Wave 2.0 waterborne base coat, we actually have to reduce the amount of paint going on by 70%. Um, so we've actually got a gun setup chart for the particular gun that you use for this product. Um, because every gun has got a slightly different pitch to the thread on the paint control. So the setup chart tells you exactly, you know, where to set your gun to get just 30% material. And then with the drop coats for um, this particular color, or sorry, this particular paint, um, 1.5 bar, and you want to be putting it on um, quite dry. So you don't want to see any wetness to the product as it's going on. 
you don't really pull back from the panel as you would do with a conventional base coat so you paint it just as uh, just as though you was putting your wet coats on but actually um, you're getting less product because you've adjusted the paint control uh, right so let me show you around so these are all in color now you can see how flat this base coat lays you know it just it looks it, it lays so flat so we've got the whole thing and this imperial blue full color is you know one of my favorite colors it's absolutely stunning um, i'm looking forward to getting the drop coats on this and then we're going to put three coats of our noble for classic car csr clear coat on so hopefully it's going to look like a shiny new pin but you can see we've got full coverage that's just two coats um, and then now i'm going to put the two drop coats on um, like I say, with this system, you actually need those two drop coats to get the correct colour. So we're going to get set up um, and put the drop coats on. Then we'll give you one last show round before we put some clear coat on it. Um, and we'll record that so you can see the clear coat going on. It's quite a lengthy process because um, with the Noval for Classic Car Clear, um, you need a 30 minute flash off time in between coats so three coats that's an hour flash off then we'll leave it for half hour 40 minutes before we bake it um, so yeah it's going to be a long night but we'll be back with you in a minute okay so next stage we've got our drop coats on it probably doesn't look a lot different on camera but like I said earlier you can see how flat it lays so what we're going to do now um, we'll cool the booth down a little bit to about 20 degrees to put our clear coat on. I'm going to go around in a minute, um, tack these off, um, all the panels and the body shell, and then we're going to anti-stat it uh, with our anti-stat gun and get in here and start putting some clear coat on. So be back with you in a minute. to go we've got all the bits tacked off all anti-stated so we've got our clear coat mixed up this is the noble for classic car csr clear coat um, so i like to mix this as an ms with 20 percent thinners and that's three coats with about a half hour flash off in between you can mix it with 10 percent thinners and use it as a high solid a hs but i prefer it as an ms i think it just lays out a little bit flatter but you have to put one more coat on so WS400 I Water Supernova, 1.3 HD fluid tip. Um, I like to run this just over two bar, um, three turns out on the fluid, sorry, on the fan, and about three and a half turns out on the fluid. So yeah, that's about it for this. As you can see, we're all ready to go. Um, we'll record this first coat going on. Um, you don't want to see all three coats on, it's a bit tedious and then I'll give you a walk round when all the clear coats done and finished. So let's go.
uh, we've got all the clear coat on now, three coats of the CSR, it really is time to go home. Um, but I'm going to give you a quick walk around and let you have a look at the result. Here we go. There's a few little nibs in it, nothing that's going to take much to get rid of. Um, we're going to let it gas out for the night and then tomorrow morning I'll give it a bake 60 degrees for 40 minutes. Um, then we'll be able to give it, I think really this is going to want a little bit of 2000, it's gone on so flat. A little bit of 2000 and a polish. Um, that'd be great. One thing I will say, what we'll do tonight is we'll leave the booth open just so as it gasses out, the solvent can get out the spray booth so it doesn't land back in the panel and otherwise it will contain the solvent in the booth for the night and we don't really want that. So tomorrow, the plan is we'll get this out of the booth and then we can actually get all the panels in that are pretty much prepped up now. So the well towel, the bumpers, um, all the bits and pieces. And um, yeah, we can get them painted. We've still got quite a bit to do. It, obviously, as you can see, it wants a little tiny bit of a polish, but nothing much. So um, we'll get it polished up. We've still got to send the headline in the way to have a new covering on it because it's all come unglued and fallen down. Um, so the car's going to be with us for a little while. But yeah, we're, I'm really pleased with how it's come out. Definitely worth staying on tonight to get this painted. It's really clean. What a stunning colour. The colour. I should imagine the colour uh, on the camera doesn't look amazing, but in person with our lights in our booth, it really does look amazing. So I hope you've enjoyed this video. Um, please subscribe to the channel, hit that like button, and we'll be back with another one soon. Cheers. Thanks for watching.